Okay, so we have a daily run today, Eve to Isaac, except I kind of have this weird kind of cool idea, maybe we'll see. Let's turn on a horror Babylon and move on. So this could be a really stupid idea, but I don't know. When I woke up this morning and I, I thought of this idea, I was like, wait, you know what? This could be funny. I don't know. Oh, Blackheart right there. Say less. Thank you. Now, the thing is, I typically either do a like a, a mod video or I do the third file. Uh, and if I'm not going to do any of those, I'll play the daily and see if it's good, right? And in my Discord, there's a channel that says just like Isaac Daily Challenge where people just talk about how the daily is. Like, oh, this happens here and this happens there, whatever, you know? What's in here? Uh, Lost Soul. Okay, we'll take that at the very end of the floor. And I try not to spoil myself, right? But I was thinking, wait a second, what if for a video, I literally just like scout out that channel, analyze everything possible, and just curate my daily run? <laughs> So I'm literally looking at the channel right now on my other monitor and it says like, oh, okay, there, here there's magic mushroom and here there's uh, uh, this item. And I'm like, wait a second, this is sick. But what if I just follow the instructions of everyone and see how like broken I can get or maybe how many points I can get. I optimize the daily run based on other people's experiences. I've never seen anyone do this before, so I thought it'd be really fun. It's also kind of a cool concept, right? I know, uh, I believe it's Cracked Crown, the uh, very broken trinket that increases your stats by 20%. That requires you to, uh, you know, get five daily wins in a row. And I know some people struggle with that, which is why we did make the Isaac Daily Challenge uh, channel in Discord, right? So people can talk about the daily challenge and exchange information so that you're able to get a little bit of an easier win. Or you don't have to play a bad daily. People will say, hey, this daily is bad. Don't play it. Oh, tears up. Nice one. Uh, well, uh, take Lost Soul. So if you're struggling to get Cracked Crown, make sure to join the Discord and just monitor the daily challenge. But for this one time, I really am just going to scour what people said happens in this daily. And let's see if we can recreate it. Maybe get our own route here. Divert a little bit in the seed. Maybe get something cool. We'll see. Now we do have a lot of pickups here. Uh, I'm going to open this chest. Oh, definitely worth. Got some black hearts too. Don't pick up that red heart because we don't really want to lose Hora Babylon. Take you, take you. Uh, where's the secret room? Probably above me? Nice. Okay. Pretty easy to find. Oh! Lord almighty, I'm the richest man alive. Let's go to the shop. Oh, there's another one. Apparently for this lost soul, there is a BFF somewhere that I can get. I think it's on the next floor where we get a BFFs. Uh, these, I don't really want. I mean, the five bombs could be pretty nice from remote detonator, but I, I think we'll just leave it alone. Treasure room right away, right above me. Bloody Lust is good to know. I'll actually just take it and then uh, pop my Horror Babylon so we get a little bit of Bloody Lust procs, right? So according to the channel, <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> according to the channel, the next floor after you get Lost Soul, in the shop there's BFFs. Now BFFs actually buffs Lost Soul so that he uh, has a holy mantle, which makes it infinitely way easier to uh, get Lost Soul to pay out, right? I don't even know. Oh, okay. I don't even know where where the shop is. Oh, it's definitely not in this direction. Uh oh. Let's get rid of this red dude first and then maybe go in the other direction. I'd rather not fight the boss without a BFS uh, ready for us, right? Devil card's good. We can use that on the boss. And honestly, shout outs to everyone that constantly posts in the daily challenge uh, channel, right? You guys just go out of your way to play the daily, communicate to you know your fellow peers and be like, hey, this is good, this is bad, this is how you're gonna win. I think that's so awesome to build a community like that. But there's that BFS we talked about. <laughs> This is so dumb. Gimme gimme. I think let's go to the boss. We'll use Razor Blade to give us some extra damage, even use the Devil Card. And something interesting is I'm reading right here that uh, one of the people that went to the first Devil Room really had nothing at all. So using that knowledge that we've gained, let's skip the Devil Room and go Angel Rooms because apparently the first Devil Room ain't all that, right? I kind of love this concept. It's really cool. Okay, let's go next floor. And I have a very, very, very very exciting bit of uh, items coming on the next floor. Based on what I'm reading here, the next treasure room is going to be hype. Lost Soul. Okay, well, that's a lot of eternal hearts, huh? Also, most likely will not be getting hit at all because, oh, actually, that's that's fine. That's good. Specifically because, you know, uh, whenever Lost Soul gets hit, it's typically just once per room. A double tag on Lost Soul is not that, you know, common. Like right there. Yeah, Lost Soul got tagged once just because it was a, a room I didn't really care about. I kind of just played willy nilly, but it's okay. Here we go. Big reveal. Let's see if the, the Isaac Daily Challenge channel is right. This is so dumb. Gimme, gimme. I actually love this concept. Lost Soul, you're a little too close. How are you supposed to do this with Lost Soul? Actually, I can do it. I just gotta be very 
specific about my movements. Cool. Goodbye. We get perfection. There's the angel room. He actually landed the really rare percent. Let me... Uh, I don't even really want that HP up. Hello? Soul. Soul's cool, right? I like soul. We don't need to blow up that angel, I don't think. Actually, it would be kind of cool uh, just so that we can maybe get some more angel chance. Just go full on angel. Goodbye, dude. Give me this. And something of note uh, is that this is a super secret rock. I would have never noticed this, but the, uh, the channel actually tells me this. I don't have bombs for it, so maybe if you guys end up playing this daily run, you can see what's inside of there. Maybe it's a small rock. I don't know. Don't know what's in here. I actually don't know too much about this floor, and that's probably why nothing said anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That is probably why no one said anything in the Isaac Daily Challenge about the uh, Flooded Caves 2, because that was an ass treasure room. I guess Teleport's better than Razor Blade, assuming I just don't pick up hearts, right? Smelter is better than anything anything else, though. I'm just gonna take that. Let's just get down to no red hearts, and I'll just focus on not accidentally picking up any of them. Gold heart procced outside, we get Guppy and Cursed Eye. I will definitely take this, actually. Guppy is also good, we can get rid of our hearts. I know it's a little wasteful doing it that way, but I just want to make sure that I'm not really worrying about picking up red hearts anymore. Let's get our angel going, we'll take the other key piece, and then we'll go back into Cursed Room, pop our health up pill, and then use Guppy's Paw. I feel like I'm playing pretty good today. So come in here, Guppy's Paw, we actually gain HP net positive by doing this, and let's leave. What is this pill? Luck up, good to know. Still looking for secret, this one's a little bit harder to find, and it's looking really hard to find, what the heck. I guessed wrong altogether. It wasn't really worth it, but at least I found it. Cursed Eye has not TP'd us yet. I barely see double trouble anymore. What is this? Gurglings Chad? What are you doing here? Our damage is actually crazy good, right? 20 base is nuts. Chad is very, very useless. But that's okay. Bye. I'm being told right now by the channel that this will pay out with an item and the item is Virtues. Is this correct? I'm trying not to die here. Oh, nice. Okay, so no TP, but we get virtues. Very nice. Uh, I hope there's a soul heart in here. What? Uh, interesting. <laughs> see now, oh boy. I didn't think magic skin would show up this early. I see in the channel magic skin is part of the run, but I didn't think it was right here. How do we want to use this? I need more health, right? That's the obvious uh, answer here. Well, we're definitely taking it. Magic skin is broken. All we gotta do is keep an eye out for as many tinted rocks as possible, and maybe we can get a lot more health and abuse this thing. Immediate treasure room? I think they're looking really good. Hello? Ah, betrayal. It's mid. Still sitting at 18 base damage though, effectively just like 20. So my burst shot of Curse Eye is destroying. Hello? Haven't found that magic 8-ball that was mentioned earlier. I'll definitely take Bogo Bombs though, that'll just give us uh, a lot more points, right? Tears up's cool. Does nothing, but hey, it felt good. Another soul heart. Okay, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, oh, that's our secret room. Let's let's use magic skin here. Boom. Sack. That's so broken. Yeah, gimme gimme. Better deal chance. Still haven't been hit. Kinda gaming. This is probably the boss over here. After this floor, I'm gonna look again at the uh, at the channel and see what we can do. I'm still wondering about this 8-ball. Maybe it's a boss draw. Oh, that would make a lot of sense, right? If this is 8-ball, we know we get a planetarium on the next oh! floor. There you go. Okay, cool. Give me this. Is it a good card? It's... Eh, I mean, it's not bad. I blow it up, maybe Soul Hearts. Not the case. I got another one. Double up. Oh, I should have played that for Soul Hearts. I didn't think it'd be a fortune teller. My fault. Oh well. This is conjoined progress. We already have two key pieces, so that's fine. Uh, let's go, dude. No boss rush for today, so I guess we're not going for points. We're going for a funny rig. Let's blow up some of these skulls so maybe we can land some black hearts. And then what's in here? Deadeye. That's just a beautiful item. There's just no way you don't take that. Secret room here. We're definitely gonna double tap magic skin. Boom, boom. Keeper's box. Not too incredible. That's okay though. Let's pop it just because we can. We don't have a useful card just yet. That's all right. Oh my god, guys, a planetary! <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Wow, what is this? Wait a second, that's sick. Gimme, gimme. May as well. <clears throat> all right, if I manage to guess this planetarium item, you guys have to subscribe. I'm going to guess Neptunus. <gasps> Everyone tabbed out of the video is just like giga confused right now. Like, oh my, how did he do that? <laughs> This guy's a genius! Uh, Curse Room scares me because I did double tap my magic skin and it's uh, a little low on HP. Boom. Mr. Me. Oh, wow. I mean, that's so good also, dude. I, I can use Mr. Me to open the boss challenge room, I suppose. We're definitely taking you. 
Definitely taking you to a club's nice double up. Soul Heart. I don't know what this pill is. Range down is not a big deal to me. I'll take the key as well. And then let's buy Mr. Me and then break in. HP. Uh, taking this is actually good for us. It will still keep our Hora Babylon because you have to remember Hora Babylon on every other character procs at half a heart, except specifically Eve, where you can have one full red heart and still have it. I don't know how this works. How does Neptunus and Cursed Eye work? It just seems like Cursed Eye just got straight up negated. I mean, I'll take it. Upgrade our red heart to a rotten heart, uh, and then let's go back and get magic skin. To be fair, this is kind of how I would already play. Like, I would probably just find magic skin and just spam it as much as I could. But it, I don't know. It's just kind of funny, the fact that I know what's going to happen. And I'm trying to abuse it <laughs> to get the best run possible. Key moment. Chest moment. Uh, you moment? I don't need you. Lust. I could get something cool here. Oh, it's something cool. I don't know why, but I just forgot Super Lust drops Yum Heart. I, I, uh, I'm going to be real. That really isn't that cool. Uh, I don't see anything talking about the curse room on depths 2 being the most godlike thing that you need to go to, so let's just leave it alone. I want to save HP. I am trying to go real fast though. Uh, while nothing uh, was said that boss rush has good items, they also didn't mention that hush has good items, but I like just fighting hush in general, so I, I am trying to hurry up. I'm basically going to have a minute 30 for each floor, womb 1 and womb 2, so I need you to pay out faster than you currently are. I might just go. Uh, I'm just going to go. Let's use the Magician, uh, maybe on the Hush fight if I make it. Oh my god, my damage is crazy? What? That was nasty damage. Polaroid, nice. Body, definitely not. Thank you, though. Goodbye. All right, I have no guides for Womb. Oh, hi. What? Okay, cool. Thank you. I have no idea what to do for Womb, but I do know where the Hush crawl space is if I make it to Hush. So let's try and speedrun. Oh, perfection lost. It was only a matter of time, to be fair. Skill issue in, in, in entirety, let's be real. Would you like to go the completely wrong way on Womb? Congratulations, you did it. Bad trip. Okay, that, that does actually suck. Palindrome to my left. Oh, I'm not going to make Hush if I go this slow, dude. I got to hurry up. Okay, stop picking uh, pickups. Let's just go full on, just full clear, right? Come on, where are you? Wrong way? What do you mean, wrong way? Oh, dang. Okay. This is a certified womb moment. I don't think I'm going to be able to make this. Wait a second. What am I talking about? Every time I have this trinket, I think it's just the Pandora's box trinket. But it also just makes it so you can go to Hush at any point. Which, now I think about it, is probably how the other players made it to Hush. We can take our time. Let's go uh, have fun and explore. Hello. Once more. Key bum again. Oh my god, I'm 1 HP. I messed up. <laughs> I am scared. Uh-oh, okay. Bro went out of his way to do anything for Glitched Crown, including throwing the run. Okay, let's just focus up. We know it can hit Hush. We just need to not die. Super secret moment. I mean, that's good to have. I'm not gonna do it right away, obviously. I'm gonna need a bit more hearts than that. This seems like the hardest part of the run so far is trying to emulate how many hearts uh, these players had so I can specifically use magic skin, right? Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Cool. Perfect. And the reason that probably is happening to me is most likely just because, you know, I spent it all in the sack room. My fault type of situation. Daddy long legs, don't RNG me. I will cry. No, don't do it, please. All right, we're good. Goodbye. Toothpicks is good to know. I don't think we have anything else we want to do here. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Boss challenge room below me. What? Thank you. I think Lost Soul's been paying out every single time possible, which is cool. I don't get to say I did that a lot. It's definitely, you know, thanks to BFFs. Experimental could be an HP up, could also be an HP down. I'm willing to take that risk. It's a speed up and a luck down. That's a very good trade in my opinion. Nothing but Ws. Uh, we are definitely paying you off. I'm going to try and not blow you up. There you go. More than enough bombs to make this guy do something, right? You can pay out with hearts, you can pay out with coins. Uh, I guess I'll go down to five. I really thought you would pay out a lot faster. Oh, there you go. Fast bomb's cool. I might have messed up by doing the sack room too much, but that's also interesting, right? Different play styles and different ways to optimize can lead to either better or worse runs. I decided to go for sack rooms. I should have focused on magic skin more because I should have just looked further down the, the channel and been like, oh, magic skin pays out with glitch crown. Instead, I, I took too long to look at it. Maybe we can. I mean, we still have a hush fight. That means we'll have a, a couple chests to open and such. We do have mom's key, which has been paying off really well. Hello, hush. We definitely get the angel room. I didn't even blow up the beggar and I got it. 
Stigmata's perfect. Thank you. Um, let's blow up these guys. More soul hearts. Perfect. There you go. Hold on. Oh my goodness me. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I, I, I hope it stays open. Okay, that's fair. I understand. But let me, let me go do this. Play right here. Uh, we don't need that pill. Again. Uh, I think I have enough, right? Again. Oh! Oh my god! Thank you. I can't believe it. I actually... Ri <laughs> what a stupid rig. Oh, man. All right. Well, Angel Room is closed. So, unfortunately, I can't pick up another Soul Heart. I do want to get more hearts. I know. I've been saying it the entire run, right? Uh, just so that I can maybe potentially uh, use Magic Skin one more time. Except this time I have Glitched Crown ready to go. Oh, nice. Thank you. Soul Hearts. Uh, there's a potential for Polly and Hamalacra to show up. Now, I don't know how these guys show- Oh! I don't know how these items show up, but I have a feeling it might have something to do with the good old- Hi, Kibum, you're going crazy. Dead Sea- I don't want this, thank you, though. Good old Glitch Crown and a bit of a Hush Floor Gaming. Hello? Hello? It's so weird because I, I expect it. I know where it is, but it's just, it's just like- <laughs> I wasn't- I, I guess I wasn't fully expecting it. Here's a fun fact, by the way. Hush Crawl Space is right here. Thanks! I love this concept. Oh my goodness me, give me that parasite. Another one... Yeah! This is the exact way uh, that uh, some players played. They got Glitch Crown and they went to the Hush Floor and they got paid out. Very cool. I think for safety's sake, I'm not taking Pyromaniac because that's a bozo. I'm going electricity. All right, hello, Hush. I'm gonna demolish you and then we're gonna try and get one more magic skin in the secret room. You know, I'd love to create some kind of beautiful commentary and jokes, uh, like just go crazy about it so I can make you guys laugh and be the, the best content creator that I can. But I'm gonna be real, it's 90 degrees outside. I'm literally melting. I, I want the Hush fight to be over. I'm dying. But I hope I uh, keep Lost Soul alive. He definitely has not done that much for me, except I'm gonna retract that statement immediately. He's given me so many soul and eternal hearts, which is literally what we've been asking for the entire run. He is the MVP of the entire run. Uh, eternal heart right there we don't need. I think we're just gonna go. Yeah. There's our secret room. Uh -huh. You know, let me guess. Uh, I'm thinking Epic Fetus. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I expected Epic Fetus to show up. <laughs> uh, wow. Alright, well, you know, uh, I could use Magic Skin like one more time, right? Technically. Plus, there's an Eternal D6 there. I could roll those pedestals. Yeah, let's just go for it. It's gonna be risky. But whatever. Uh -huh. Let me retry this. Let me guess Epic Fetus. Oh! oh my god, there's a death certificate? Are you joking? In the inventory for uh, the people that played, they had Epic Fetus. I didn't think a death certificate would show up. I wonder if I did something different in order to trigger that. Or maybe I just, uh, maybe they messed up their glitch crown or maybe they just wanted to get Epic Fetus. But <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like if you have a choice between an item and an item that can give you any item, including the item, you would get the thing that makes you choose everything. Well, thanks for the uh, death certificate. Let me go figure out what I want to get. Those bombs are dangerous to go for. Oh my god, what am I doing? Why am I going for this? These bombs aren't worth it. I really want the points though. Oh no! Uh, I gave it some thought and I'm taking school back. The way I see it is I feel like this is the way that the, the run could divert into my favor, right? I don't think anyone would have made this kind of decision. And maybe it pays out, maybe it doesn't, but I'd like to see what happens. If we take this, then we can take Magic Skin back. Then we can take Eternal D6. Then I just spawn one more pedestal and uh, I can start re-rolling? I don't know. Could be wrong. We'll see. Wait, does Magic Skin take away one heart or two? I'm an idiot. Okay, so it... <laughs> it, uh... It, oh, God. It consumes one red heart, but I misremembered. It, can, it, it, it takes two soul hearts. Oh, okay. Well, what do I do about this situation then? Unless I find another health up, uh, this is not going to work out for me. Well, if it doesn't work out, just pretend that I got Sacred Heart from Death Certificate, okay? Just just pretend, all right? Don't say anything in the comments. Just act like I did. Be, uh, just be like, oh my god, that was such a smart play that he got a Sacred Heart from Death Certificate. Oh, wow. What a gamer is he. And we'll never have to mention it ever again. Health up? <gasps> oh, no way did I just do that. Wait a second. What? There's no conceivable way I just did that. I can't believe it. I, I actually pulled that off. Boom. I'm alive. 
And guess what? I have another d6. This was it. This was the legendary moment I was thinking about. Where I divert the run and I end up getting a god item. Boom. Oh yeah, that's right. Rune bag. That was kind of cool like a sequence though. You, you gotta admit, right? Like, you, you, Don't take that away from me. That was kind of cool. What a weird secret room placement, by the way. Like, what the heck is that? Hello? Are you trying to be quirky and different? I suppose maybe something along the line. I don't have batteries, do I? Oh, I have super secret, maybe. Oh, this is why you look for your thingies. Hold on. Wait a second. Cow. Did I just say cow? What is wrong? <laughs> um, wow. Okay. I don't believe anything spins down into anything like really specifically good here. Not off the top of my head. But it is still spin down, which means I just get extra pedestals, right? Is that Bumbo? Bumbo isn't in the secret room pool. Wait, I exhausted it. What? No way I can get Brimstone. I just don't even have HP available to get the blood bag. So, well, let's uh, pick up magic skin, right? Let's just do this, I guess. Oh! I was wrong. There is stuff. I, I understand now. The beggar paid out with Bumbo, right? And then... Uh, it rolled into secret room pool. Okay, now I feel like I can say I was successful. I managed to get a rock bottom as the last item by doing that. Very, very, very epic run. If you guys ever need help with your daily challenges, just join the Discord and uh, I really appreciate you guys. Make sure to sub. GG!